All right, so today we are out getting mussels again. Uh, same place, very accessible, very easy to go. But this time, we got a guest. Here's Ponzu, and that's Domo. So yeah, I brought them out, you know, just letting them play around the beach a little bit. And uh, we're gonna collect some mussels. We're gonna go home, prep them, dehydrate them, and they will be uh, snacks for these two guys. All right, let's get collecting and then uh, let's go. So this is about the kind of size we're going for. We're going to pick a bunch of these because they are for the dogs. And uh, we're going to remove the stomach contents, but we'll show you how to do that at home. But yeah, we'll get a couple more of these. So we just got all our muscles. Um, these guys are huge, actually. So I mean, they're about the size of my hand. So yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do, um, before we even get started, um, biotoxin hotline information is in the description. So do not harvest during a quarantine or if it, you know there's any kind of uh, toxin levels that are not acceptable. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna boil them up. Uh, after that, we're gonna dehydrate them. And you can actually use these as, um, if you guys have dogs, and you've ever tried to give them a pill or any kind of medication, uh, you probably have tried to look at something called pill pockets. Uh, they're not cheap, but these guys actually work uh, as really good pill pockets. So uh, Domo does take prednisone and he does, uh, you know, these muscles work really well as a pill pocket. All I do is stuff the prednisone in there, uh, give him a couple bites and then he'll go for it. All right, so let's get started. I'm also going to recommend not using any kind of um, newer pots and pans that you might have. So use something that's either older or you don't mind getting scratched. Um, just, you know, these things, I mean, these barnacles, they will scratch up any non-stick layer. So either use something old or don't use something that's non-stick. All right. So now we're just gonna dump these into some cool water so that we can handle them. All right, so when you're ready to prep these after they're cooled down, just go ahead and crack them open. Discard any of them that do not open, by the way. And then all you do is that beard, which is that kind of grassy looking stuff over there. All you do is kind of pull that out. So kind of anchor down the rest of the muscle, pull out the beard, and then also beneath the beard, there is kind of this uh, fibrous kind of uh, material. So let's see if we can find it on this one. Yep, there it is. Just kind of pull that out, because that stuff is super chewy. Dogs probably won't digest it very well. Also, we pull this out when we uh, prepare these for ourselves too. And um, I'll put a card on the top of the screen 
uh, for how I prepared this for people. A little smaller size, but it is a baked muscle recipe, so check that out. But yeah, pull out that very fibrous anchor, which usually does come out with a beard, and then discard that. There we go. And the rest of it, we will just use for the dogs, and we're gonna dehydrate that part. Wait, one more step. We have to also remove the stomach content. So you'll see in there, it's pretty dark. You'll be able to flip that out, and then you'll be able to pull out all that dark stuff. Usually it comes out in a little pouch. And then also, after you take out the stomach, rinse out any kind of sand that might be in there, and then you're good to go to start dehydrating. So we're just gonna start dehydrating this in the oven. And I don't have a dedicated dehydrator, so I'm just gonna use a regular tabletop oven. I'm gonna put on convection and a temperature of, I don't know, say 225. Eh, let's do 200. And then go for about an hour. The best thing you could do is a somewhat lower temperature for a longer time to get this to dehydrate. All right, all done. They're not completely dehydrated, so like they still have like a little bit of a you know a little bit of firm texture, but they're not super dry or anything. But I do this just so they are a little more shelf stable if I don't want to freeze them, or if you want to put them in the fridge, uh, they will still last a good probably about a week uh, before um, you'll see any mold, mold on them. So I'd still recommend if you don't want to freeze them, use them in the next couple days. But otherwise, I do freeze these. I am about to show you guys how I use these muscles for pill pockets for the dogs. Uh, but also, I also wanted to say, you know, thank you for everyone that reached out uh, regarding the car accident. And, you know, thank you for posting in the comments all the well wishes. Thank you to the friends and families that actually reached out to me. So I actually do appreciate that a lot. Um, I also went to my surgeon who had good news for the MRI. Uh, no torn soft tissues or anything. So a lot of PT for the knee. Uh, also, my finger is a little crooked, so the OT has also uh, taught me how to tape up my finger to straighten it out a little bit and to strengthen that back. So, thank you everyone. Um, I do appreciate everyone who's reached out, and hopefully I'll be better soon. But, um, yeah, let's uh, show you how to get the muscles going for a pill pocket. So, all I've done so far is reconstitute a frozen piece of muscle uh, in some hot water. Um, now that it's actually, you know, kind of moisturized a little bit, or, uh, that doesn't sound right. So I've, re so I've rehydrated the muscles in some hot water, that's it. Um, and after you dehydrate them a little bit, they stay a little bit tougher, so I do like that texture uh, for putting pills inside. So I'll show you guys how I do that. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the muscle. Took out the belly, so that's what that little void is. And then on the underside, if you open it up, this big fat chunk, that's where I like to use as a pill pocket. So I'll show you how I open it. Right there in the middle, I'll rip it downward. Nice clean break on the insides. And then that lip around the side. Take all that off. Take off the adductor muscle. And then take apart the sides of this. Now you're left with just that big fat chunky part. What I'm going to do is actually cut this open. If you have a big dog you don't have to cut it open but Domo is not exactly huge so cut them open and you get this nice big chunk. I'm going to stick the knife in there, create a little pocket. And then here's my pill. 
all I do is stick that in there. And that's it. So again, that's Domo, and that's Ponzu. So Domo is the one who gets the pills. So make sure you don't mix up any of your uh, muscles that have the pills in there. So I'm gonna give them a couple pieces without any of the pills first, just to get their appetite going. And this is the one with the pill in there. So you see that? I'm gonna give that to him. There you go. Gonna give the adductor muscle to Ponzu. And the other piece with the pill. This one's going to Domo. There you go. Doesn't spit out the pill. Mask the uh, scent of the pill pretty well, and then that's it. Way cheaper than a pill pocket, too. And then, <laughs> I want to show you guys something about uh, Ponzu, actually. So Ponzu actually had a couple of his front teeth removed from um, a uh, prior procedure. So <laughs> I'll give him this little rubbery piece, the lip, and he kind of just flosses his front teeth. <laughs> so. Yeah, he's missing a couple of teeth in the front. He's uh, you know, getting a little bit older now, but they love muscles. Here you go, boy. Good boy. All right, last piece. You go, boy. Okay. All right, so that's it. Um, Again, hopefully some of you guys who have dogs or something, um, this will be a good solution for giving them pills or anything. Even just as a snack, you don't have to use it as a pill pocket. Um, or, actually there's no reason people can't eat it, I've eaten it. Um, like, dehydrated just like that, they taste a little like a jerky. Um, but aside from that, uh, I've always had people ask me what breed they are. So Domo and Ponzu, they are from the same litter. Uh, leave in the comment what, you, uh, what breed you think they are. So. I've had some pretty funny suggestions sometimes, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Again, um, I'm also about to reach, I think currently right now I have 98 subscribers, so about to reach that 100, so I wanna thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and um, just being a part of the experience. So hopefully I'll see you guys somewhere out there, and um, you guys stay safe. All right, take it easy. Go boys. No more.